welcome to a brand new edition of High Events. And this evening, we witnessed the launch of the first ever recycled collection by G Flock. It's a story that's going from trash to treasure. To find out more, stay tuned. And we have Ranil, the co founder and CEO of G Flock. Hi, Ranil. How are Hi. you doing this evening? Good, exciting. And um, it's just exciting. I mean, we have, this is something we have been looking for for months. And um, yeah, it's quite exciting to be here. And there's a lot of hard work for us to come here uh, to and, and show up, show, showcase this collection. Talking about this recycled collection that's coming for the very first time from G Flock, tell us more about it. Well, um, it's, it's uh, one of those initiatives that uh, we wanted to come up with because we, we have been um, uh, known as, as a brand that uh, the follows the sustainability. We started the reforestation program a couple of years ago and then we have been setting trends in the market, in, in, the, in the business community and in the people um, more towards the sustainability and, uh, and this initiative uh, is, is, is as a result of um, uh, the, the recycled plastic has been one of the biggest issues in the, in the globe, the environmental issue in the globe um, and, and a lot of um, uh, international communities and companies have taken that, this very seriously and they are uh, working on the, uh, recycling uh, and then minimizing the trash wastage. Customers can um, uh, afford, uh, afford a collection, affordable collection where customers can wear it in their day-to-day -day lives at the same time to have the sense of uh, uh, the feeling that they are contributing something to the environment while wearing it because one of the dresses uh, is, is actually equals to 30 to 40 plastic pet balls of recycling so you have a sense of uh, contribution towards the environment and we have charuni with us right now one of the designers of uh, g flock hi charuni how are you doing this evening i'm doing great thank you Tell us about this collection. So this is actually a recycled collection. Uh, the idea behind this is to reduce the wastage of plastic and put it to a usable way, which is like, since we are a fashion brand, we are going with wearable plastic. That, that's pretty much the idea behind this. Talking about the designs, what are we to expect from this collection? So this is, this is the first collection we are launching and we are targeting workwear, workwear crowd. But still, it's, I think it's multifunctional, you know, you could even wear it for evening or casual. But today, the collection we are launching is pretty much towards the workwear segment. I think you're wearing one from the collection as well. Wearing from the collection. Talking about what's in future for G Flock, what are we to expect from you? So, uh, in talking about the same topic, I think uh, our head of design, Mr. Ranil, is planning on expanding this uh, idea to evening casual and jeans as well. Like he wants to make the entire brand more sustainable. So that is his vision, and that has become our vision too. So today, G Flock will launch their first ever clothing line made from recycled fabrics, and we'll talk about these fabrics a little later on. And we're obviously moving things up by taking trash and converting it to treasures, and hence our hashtag trash to treasure. So once again, um, thank you very much for being here. And we'll start, I'd like to start by introducing to you our panelists for today. Many of you here may already know them. Uh, some of them are obviously a little more familiar to you than others, but we're very glad uh, to have them all here. We'd like to um, firstly say hello to uh, Ranil Viladrage, who is a head of design at GFLOC. We have Shanali Fernando, who is a designer of the workwear department. All the designs that you see here today uh, uh, have been done uh, by Shanali and, of course, the uh, GFLOC team. And we have Tamara Senaratna, who is the face of GFLOC, and she is possibly the best known face on this panel. Let's start off with GFLOC itself. Uh, there's a lot of work that you do that's a little different uh, to other companies and the ethos of other companies. So let's start there and then this particular initiative. GFLOC has been um, um, a trend-setting brand ever since we started in 2013. And um, we have been um, uh, pushing the uh, fashion boundaries in uh, different ladies' wear departments such as evening wear and casual wear and, and jeans and work wear. And um, we have been launching collections consistently on a weekly basis ever since we started uh, with, the, with the beautiful face of uh, Tamara. Um, with that, we have created um, a strong connection between customer and, and the brand. 
uh, having this digital and then retail platform that uh, gave us uh, idea of setting trends towards something doing something greater cause um, a greater cause such as uh, preserving the environment and the humanity um, having that thought we started uh, our reforest uh, program a couple of years ago uh, which we have distributed more than 25000 saplings <laughs> among our customers and um, and we have done uh, many tree, tree planting projects along the southern highway and then Vilpattu. Um, and it, it has created a trend in the business community and then it has created a ripple effect in the business community and then the people, um, which uh, gave us the understanding that um, trends can be set not only for your own businesses, it can be set uh, towards uh, preserving the environment and the humanity. So this is, this is um, uh, this is the continuation of, of uh, that initiative. And move on to uh, uh, a design perspective. So, uh, Shanali, as a designer behind this collection, uh, can you talk to us a little bit? Uh, a lot of what uh, all of us are wearing today, really, um, uh, has a lot to do with the fabric that's being used. And that's how uh, this trash to treasure story has happened. So, let's talk about the process and the fabrics. The specialty about this fabric, as Janel was saying, was that the yarn is made out of recycled pet bottles, right? So what happens <coughs> is um, they're collected, the pet bottles are collected and then they are sorted and then they are shredded into flakes. And then the flakes are melted to their melting point and then what happens is um, they are extruded into fiber. Once it's melted, it's made into fiber and then worn into fabric that is, uh, that is comfortable enough to wear on a day-to-day -day basis. So let's talk about what you think about this initiative. You're wearing g flock today. You're wearing one of our uh, trash to treasure dresses. Uh, so talk about this initiative and how you feel about this collection. Well, as I've been a part of g flock for about six years now, I have had the opportunity to watch this company evolve and also evolve with it to see them do so much greater things and be a part of it and be the face of this company. Um, and to know that we are contributing positively to the environment, to the planet, uh, I'm, I'm really proud to be a part of this brand and wear these garments. How do you take this project to the next level? So I'm going to leave you with that question uh, and see how you want to answer that. We want to um, experiment more fabric, obviously, um, and then uh, expand this experience into other departments as well, such as evening wear and casual wear, and and give that experience for, for the customers to wear in their day-to-day -day lives. And also, um, we need to come up with different projects in the future that uh, that uh, we give us, uh, customers a sense of. Uh, uh, accomplishment while they're purchasing it. It's a bit of a challenge um, t taking plastic uh, recycled yarns into more wearable and comfortable fabrics because a country like us, because the nature of that fabric is uh, the yarn is so raw and, and, and it's harsh. And it's, it's, uh, you need to blend with other, other, other uh, compositions such as polyester and viscose for you to get it more wearable and more comfortable. So that's, that's the kind of experiments that we are working right now uh, uh, into other departments like evening wear fabrics and casual wear fabrics. It's a bit of a process, that, but uh, we are working on it and then we probably expanding this into other departments in the future. Um, and there are about 20 new looks. Let's talk a little bit about the different looks in this particular collection. We have about 20 looks uh, we've created for, hopefully we are, we are targeting uh, from a lady who's in the top management to a lady who's uh, coming in for any casual work, right? So we are, uh, this is a collection based on uh, ranging from pants to dresses to jumpsuits. So it be it a day in the boardroom or a day, uh, casual Friday, we've got you covered. So you can wear this um, piece of garment. And then we, I would also want to mention that we have a like um, identification mark in each garment, like a neon tag. Uh, so one, when you wear it on a day-to-day -day basis, and once you, when you have a look at it, you can be 
you can feel proud that you are a contributor to the environment. The GFLOC base, the GFLOC customer, what message do you have? Just don't buy it for, for the sake of buying it. Like, you know, just fulfill your needs. I mean, businesses like us and entrepreneurs like us, what we have to do is, is actually making uh, more um, um, uh, cost driven and make some courses for, for, the, for customers' purchase so that uh, the, the, your purchase become more meaningful. Um, and and you you have that as as your good deed, you know. End of the day, like you know, you have that sense of uh, accomplishment, um, and that's 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 a kind of uh, market that uh, again I'm looking at, and and that's uh, that's what I want to tell our customers. Let's talk a little bit about these hashtags also that you use in promoting. It's not just about promoting a brand, but an entire lifestyle uh, that is different to a very traditional way of selling clothes or selling anything for that matter. So let's talk a bit about that. Yeah, so selfless effort stands for these sort of stuff that we are doing, like, you know, thinking about the environment and the communities. Um, and and that's the kind of selflessness uh, that you had to practice when you and you have a business made out of capitalism. And, uh, and yes, uh, that those selfless efforts make uh, star humans. Star humans, it, it, star hum I, I use that term star humans because star, the object of star is, is an it's a, it's a object that burns uh, itself to you know, give life to others. So it's a selfless person. Uh, has that's a meaning of star human as a selfless person. So selfless efforts make the star humans, and star hum a bunch of star humans, uh, a planet of star humans make make a star state. That's that's the whole uh, idea behind the entire um, G flow. <laughs>
Now you've been working with GFLOC for the past six years or so. What do you think, what are your thoughts on GFLOC making an attempt to do something for the environment, for the society and so on? I think uh, we've always wanted to be uh, trend setting in the sense like even me being here for this long was a part of our company plan where they wanted to have a connection with the people. So everything has been a trend that we not only wanted to do but also for others to follow. So we've had beach cleanups and a lot of things in the past maybe two years with the environment and I think it's, it's a great initiative. And we have Charini with us right now. Hi Charini, how are you doing this evening? Very good, thank you. Tell us about your thoughts on this collection. I think it's a really good way to uh, get this message across to the mass market because GFLOC is more a high-speed brand and I think that's a fantastic way for a good message to be given to a market which uh, accepts fashion and they will be a bit more conscious about what they wear. So it's, I think it's a very good platform. Definitely. Now you being from the fashion industry, what do you think of this attempt that GFLOC is taking to stay environmental friendly and sustainable because this is not an era where everyone wants to be environmental friendly? Um, I I think it's great that, uh, see now, GFLOC will have their own challenges because they have to think about the price and it has to be appeal appealing to the mass market. So being in a very um, a competitive market like that being and try and being eco-friendly, I think is a great, great initiative. And we have the beautiful Manisha with us right now. Hi Manisha, how are you doing this evening? I'm good, I'm good, thank you. Tell us about uh, your thoughts on this collection. Absolutely love it. That's what we need right now in the world. People who make something different to make the planet and everything, you know, a better place for everyone to live in. Yeah. You've always been a trendsetter when it comes to fashion. Uh, what are your thoughts uh, on these pieces? Is there anything that you would really like? I've been a fan of GFLOC ever since Ranil started it. So I think, I think they're just doing great. Like, you know, there's nothing that I want to change about anything. It's just amazing. Selfless efforts, star humans, star state. That's all what GFLOC's brand new recycled collection is all about. Please come by and grab yours as soon as possible and make Sri Lanka make this planet a better place. Until next time, I'm your host Naveksha and it's a wrap.